the evacuation process. Hurry up! Come on! Hurry up! Get in there! Hurry up! You on blades these days, Java? Sounded urgent. Siva. My thoughts exactly. She doesn't have Ebony's ear yet, I hope. Ebony doesn't have Ebony's ear, but Siva's working on it. Both ears. And I don't think she's telling her how cute we are. And you've been monitoring her movements. What kind of question is that? And you'll know what she's been up to. She's been meeting someone. Who? And how do you know? It's my business to know, Java. I thought it might be yours, too. May saw her. She even got it on camera. And the someone? Not a clue. Male. He knows how to keep himself hidden. It's about time we found out a bit more, do you think? Yeah, I'll see to it. No, Java, I'll see to it. You just bring her in. you're doing? I was playing a game. Just a game. Yeah, uh, what game? Uh, bull chases. You know the one where you have to... Why on Jack's computer? Who gave you the right to come in here and use it whenever? Nobody. But Jack's computer has the best games. I get bored on any of the others. You mean you've used this before? No. No. I mean, well, just look at it. It's a business. Yeah, it's Jack's business. And neither you nor anybody else has the right to go on it without his consent, okay? Move it. being introduced. I had to bring a message to you once. Uh, you were a city leader, weren't you? Which way is it to the work party? Uh, the message I brought you that day, uh, it wasn't good news. I remember, you gave me food. The fist for a long time. Good old Celine. The common man's friend. Uh, could have sworn I saw your name here, but uh, I must have imagined it. I didn't see Zoot shot. No, Java's behind all this. But Java tells me I didn't see Zoot shot as well. But that's for a different reason. She wants you to believe Zoot lives. Power and chaos. People appearing, dreams, messages. They're not real, Ebony. What's the meaning of all this? You are to come with us. On whose orders? In the name of Zoot. Take her. Ebony, try to understand what's happening. They're using you. In the name of Zoot. Sweetie. Hey, Mouse. Where have you been? Oh, around. 
Is something up? Trudy, tell me again what it's like to live with the Ecos. Get in there! Hurry up! Hello, Lex. Jacob, where you been lately? The casino's not the same without you. I've been kind of busy. You know how it is. Listen, you know how I hate publicity. I heard. And, uh, makes sense, seeing it was me. Bumped off Zoot, yeah. You mentioned it once or twice. You mean, they ain't recognized you? Nope. And I'd sooner keep it that way. I bet you would. What brought this up? Nothing. Just be thinking that's yeah. all. About the egos? Yeah, and thanks. <laughs> Sweetheart, I know it's hard when we lose someone, but we have to remember that they wouldn't want us to be sad for too long, you know? I know, but I just want to know what it's like. Well, it was one of the happiest and most peaceful times of my entire life. Then why'd you come back? To be with the people I loved. It seems there's less and less people to love these days. I hate this place. Oh, Mouse. Hey, if you hadn't come here, then we may never have met you. You're glad that happened, aren't you? I want to go live with the Eco Tribe. I can't live here anymore. Well, if that's what you want to do, then you should do it. One day. No, not one day. I want to do it now. Sammy? Are you trying to give me a heart attack? Sammy, none of us like the work parties. But for now, we're just going to have to go along with it. They treat you like dirt. It's slavery. It's not going to be forever. And the last thing we need is those work technos coming looking for you again. Just wise up. Make it easy on yourself. How can I? It gets worse every time. Some problem? Of course there's some problem. You can't force people to work and expect them to like it. Look, I thought we sorted this out yesterday. Megas promised that the troops like more civilized. Sammy, we need to pull together. Not me. Hey, think of it as all of us working together, just for now. Look, why don't we go on a work party together, you and I? We can help each other out through the shift. What do you say? You? Me? Okay. <laughs> okay, great. I'll see you by the entrance before the next shift. That was a nice thing to do. Yeah, well, he needed a nice thing, poor kid. Amber, I'm... I'm glad you've accepted what has to be. I'm sorry, you'll have to forgive me. I didn't hear the weather forecast today. Did hell freeze over? I don't know what she was doing when I got there, but she jumped like a scared rabbit when I came in. And then she tried to pretend like she wasn't doing anything. And you reckon she was on it, not just admiring it? Yeah, I'm certain. So? What? What are you going to do about Gal? Oh, well, I reckon we set a trap. I mean, okay, the digital camera can be used as a webcam. We could use that. Next time she tries to look at the computer, we'll see her, okay? You've still got it, Jack. So clever and uh, masterful. Mm. Ooh. Hey, get your hands off me. I'm beginning to see what you mean, sir. 
Tammy. This is nothing but weight. Hey, Sammy! Hey! Sammy! Hey, Sammy! Those DVDs you traded, remember them? Uh, DVDs? No. Yes, you do. The ones that turned out to be blank lost me a packet. Oh, those DVDs. Yeah, I gave you the wrong batch. Um, I've been meaning to come around and see you about that. Of course, of course. Only I was going to mention the 50 Paradise headsets I paid half up front for. Must have been a transport hitch, but they never did arrive. You know what? First thing we're out of here, you got it. Which you never will if I introduce you around. Well, it would be in your best interest not to then, wouldn't it? I don't know, Lex. You've wicked me off quite a bit lately. It might just be best if I... Wait. We can work something out. Well, I might be wrong, but... I think you take the same boot size as me. Still getting complaints. You expect glowing reports, Jay? This is hard work they have to do. I hope you've told them how grateful we are. Not about how hard the work is. About the treatment by the tech notes. Ah, oh, that. I've taken care of it. Not according to the bruises on the guy I just talked to off the last shift. They're not packing marshmallows. He could have got them whilst working. Except he didn't. The troops need retraining. A capital idea. Leave it with me. In the safe zone? What about it? We need to expand it. If we drip feed the Zootists into the safe zone, I think they'll see the advantages of living an ordered life, don't you? It's an interesting concept, Jay. I like it, but no can do. Why? We don't have enough manpower. Then let's recruit more. You sure that's necessary? I'd say yes. And if something went wrong, do you think we could control them? I've controlled larger numbers of technos. Great. Then let's get to it. Well, I'll be damned. Howdy, kids, and... Welcome to the show. Ram, what do you think you're doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rejoin that unique band of individuals known as bipeds. Yes, it would have been preferable to do this alone, but since you all seem to be littering my test track, then enjoy. How far are you going? End of the bar. Well, if it helps you get out of here permanently. Sure about this? Feel free to applaud at any time. <laughs> had an old dog used to walk like that. We had to take him to the pound in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, Pathead. Go on, do it. He'll make it. No, he won't. You want a bit? You know, Ruby? It would make me very happy if you didn't rent my room out just yet. What, so you can finish your Paradise Mark II? Uh, one day, Ruby, you'll really know what my work is. And then you might even want to kiss me. Mm. 
Mm. I've got to work. Am I stopping you? Yes. Well, not my fault. You liar. <laughs> Jack? Oh. Well, somebody's been here. Go. <laughs> what? The files have been copied. Important ones? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Lucky I took notice of you, Ellie. See, the camera will have picked her up. Can you copy the print? Uh-huh. Good. I want Ever and Jay to see what a little schemer she is. You know, I've got to say, she had me fooled. Okay, it's coming through. Here we go. Needn't take long, Siva. I have no idea what you mean. Sorry, let me be more clear. We know you were meeting with someone. Says who? Who is he? And what were you talking about? It's none of your business. We think it is. Who is he? Nobody you know. A guy. It's private. She's lying. A lover? Yes. No way. You think I wouldn't know? <sighs> what are you doing? Outlining your options. If I hit this switch, your death will register as a blink on a few thousand light bulbs. You can't do this! You're right. I probably can't. Messy. Jabba? So, Siva, the truth. What do we do? I don't know. If it had been Gal, it would have been different, but it's May. Well, you know, Gal and May, we still need to tackle her about it. No. What? What? No. But we at least tell the others, you know. That neither. Okay, well, um, how about I download the rest of the files and I hand them to her? <laughs> Jack, if she gets to know that we know, if we or anybody else confront her, we may never find out who she's been spying for. So? So we watch her closely for now. If she's got information, she needs to pass it on to someone. Yeah, unless she already has. Well, let's hope not. What are you doing? I just recoding the security device. No, leave it. If she comes back and she can't get in, then she'll know we're onto her. I thought I was supposed to be the smart one around here. Well, sometimes it takes another woman to know what a woman's thinking. <laughs> So, Siva, one last chance. Who is the man you were meeting with, and what were you talking about? If I tell you? You live. I don't believe you. But, Siva, I gave you my word. If I tell you, you'll wipe me out anyway. I can arrange for you to go away. Somewhere nice. Somewhere where nobody will care who you are or what you have to tell them. But you won't. It's easier to get rid of me, just like you got rid of the guy impersonating Zoot. Did you tell him he could go away? Java, you ready? As I've ever been. Siva? Don't do this, Java. Sorry, sis. You had your chance. No, wait! Get this off me first. His name is Slade. He was asking after Ebony. 
and you're set to meet him again? Hmm. Right, we can order. Okay, Ellie, here's the plan. Okay, we find me. She was in the cafe ten minutes ago. Alright, okay, we find her, we stick with her, or one of us does. Or do you want to take any turns? Yeah? Do you know what she said to me? She was like, hi. Just like that, like nothing had happened. I was like, yeah, hi yourself. Right in any good databases lately? Okay, um, anyway, if one of us sees you leaving the building, then we jump on the radio and, and one the other. Right. I wonder who she's working for. Well, you know, Ellie, that's how we find out. We follow her and we, she leads us to the source. You know, I can't wait to see the look on her face when she realizes that we know. Look, Ellie, come on. For all we know, she could have left the building already. Getting well, Daryl. Getting well. 